We'll call the order to the Tuesday, April 17th, 2012, regular meeting, the first regular meeting of the Common Council. City Clerk, call, uh, read the oh, Thank you, Mayor. I hope our achievements in life shall be these, that we will have fought for what was right and fair, that we will have risked for that which mattered, that we will have given help to those who are in need, that we will have left the earth a better place for what we've done and who we've been. Thank you. We're starting off on a better foot tonight. We've got a quorum. <laughs> if the clerk will call the roll. <laughs> Bellinger? Here. Boren? Here. Carlson? Here. Decker? Here. Donahue? Here. Hammond? Here. Heideman? Here. Koth? Here. Lassard? Here. Lewandowski? Here. Matichuk. Here. Raisler. Excused. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Here. And Versi. Excused. 13 present. Uh, tonight we will have the presentation of the colors by the Sheboygan Police Department Honor Guard. Please. All rise. Please join us tonight. We have uh, Trustin Decker, son of Alderman Decker, and my grandson, to uh, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Trustin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, thank you. I want to thank the color guard for being here today, and, and uh, again, my grandson, Tristan, for leading us in the pledge. Fifteen years from now, you'll probably see him sitting in one of these chairs. Twenty years from now, you'll probably see him sitting in this chair. Um, I'd like to call uh, Andrew Hopp to lead us in the invocation, please. Honorable Mayor, Ben Akron and distinguished members of council, thank you very much for the privilege 
of praying with you this evening. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we, we truly do thank you for the abundance of blessings that you give to us here in Sheboygan. We really do truly live in a, a great place to live and to work and raise our families. We especially thank you this evening, Heavenly Father, for these men and women who have been placed into positions of authority in our city government. Lord, we thank you for their willingness to serve and the gifts and talents they bring to bear. And we want to pray especially for their safety and for their health and also for their families who carry the burden of leadership with them. Spirit of the living Lord, we ask that you guide and help everyone here when they face the challenges of making very important decisions. Give to them wisdom and understanding so that they truly can represent us well. Help them in these difficult financial times to be truly good financial stewards, conscious always of the, the trust that we have placed in them. Help them also, though, to be compassionate and understanding, knowing that the decisions they will make affect people, that the decisions they make will affect truly hardworking and diligent city workers as very hardworking taxpayers as well. Lord, we especially pray for unity in this body when conflicts and disagreements arise, and, and we know that will happen. May all of the discussions in these chambers be done in a way that shows that everyone has an openness to hear and understand opinions that at times will be different than their own. Give direction so that solutions can be found here that are based in the fact that everyone in this room has a shared and common goal, and that is simply to do what is best for our community. <clears throat> Most of all, dear God, we ask that our leaders continue to truly show the very character of Christ, and that is first and foremost, to be humble servants for us all. And may our city truly be a place where, where all of us strive to love our neighbors as ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll start this evening by swearing in the eight, nine, eight new aldermen. They would like to come up to the front. It's a new seat for you. you to all raise your right hands and repeat after me. I, please state your name, I swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin, and will faithfully and impartially, and will and faithfully and impartially discharge the duties, discharge the duties of the office of older person, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. So help me God. So, so help me God. God. Congratulations. One sixth, adopting the rules of the Common Council. Council, Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adopt the rules. Second. 
been moved and seconded to adopt the rules of the previous council and these stand the same. And is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Tonight we're going to be electing a new council person for potential candidates for the 6th district. Um, we have two candidates that have put in. We have, oops, sorry. We have um, William Wongaman and we have John Patrick Gahagan. Okay. I see both gentlemen are here tonight. Um, if you'd like to uh, come up and we'll give you about a minute or two to uh, introduce yourselves and give the council a little bit of insight of to who you are and why you'd like to be Alderman. Which one did you have first just out of? Uh, the first one that came in was Bill Wongerman. Okay, if Bill would come up please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, City Clerk Richard, and City Attorney McLean, distinguished council members and guests. Some of you already know me, and for that you have my sympathy. <laughs> Those that don't know me, my name is Bill Wongabin, and I approve of this message. I've been rattling around City Hall for 49 years in 1963 I, for the first time I walked up the steps as a new police officer. And I spent 28 years on the Sheboygan Police Department. In 1986, I had the council introduce a resolution to create the job of city historian, which I have occupied since that time. And I spent about 12 years on the council. And uh, during that time, I served on just about every board, commission, committee, and investigating body that you can imagine. So if that qualifies for experience, those are my qualifications. I've grown up, been born and raised in Sheboygan. It's a city that I have a great affinity for. And I guess we don't have to go into any long, great details, but the last couple of years, our beloved city has taken a lot of bumps and bruises, and I would like to see that changed. I'd like to see the dignity come back to this city, and I'd like to have a hand in doing that. So if you support me in that goal, I would uh, like to be nominated to the seat in District 6, which is now open. I thank you. Thank you, Bill. And next we have John Gahagan. John, if you'd like to come up. Good evening. My name is John Patrick Gahagan, age 61. I am unemployed. I lost my job at Panthea, and I've always had interest in politics. So this opportunity seemed to present itself to me. Uh, I'm going to be very frank with you. I am not a highly intelligent person. I am an average person. And that's what I'm trying to drive my point across here to you tonight is that I think we need to have more common people on a council that is called common council. It isn't highly intelligent people's council. It is for the common people to have say in the city government and how the city spends its money and runs its municipality. Uh, I have no choppers, so I have a hard time getting some words out. Uh, I've been very interested in politics for a long time, like I said, and uh, there are a lot of things that the city needs to move forward on, and in the 6th District especially, there are things that I think that need to be worked on. And I ain't going to bring it up right now because I don't want to start any heavy discussions. But uh, like I say, I am very common and I ain't highly intelligent. And I'll be frank with you. I, re I say I did not graduate from high school. And I repeat that. I did not graduate from high school. 
I quit high school my junior year and joined the United States Army. But uh, I am, like I say, common, and I go down to the coffee shop at l and L's. I used to go every day, but I really can't afford it now. And just to sit there with 10, 10 fellow coffee clutch people that we call ourselves, a lot of them a lot older than me, and just to listen to what they say about what's going on around would be a good experience for everybody to hear because these people have been around a long time and they know what they're talking about. So I would just hope that I can get some support from you tonight and I thank you very much. Thank you, Thank John. you. Both gentlemen, I would, I would like to thank you for putting your names forward. You know, it's an opportunity um, that a lot of people don't get a chance to do. And I give credit to anybody who's willing to step forward and come to um, and join this Common Council. Uh, so I want to thank you both for putting in your names and, and doing that, both John and Bill. Alderman Decker, we need a motion to post those two names in nomination. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. Is, is there a second? There is a second. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I nominate William Wagaman and John Gehagen as candidates for the position of all the person for the District 6. Second. Okay, be before you do that, we need to uh, vote on f uh, the nomination to, to, to f on the procedure. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Sorry, Mr. Okay. President, you, for Mr. a few Mayor. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I nominate William Wagaman and John Gehagen as candidates for the position of all the person for district number six. Second. It's been moved and seconded to place the names of uh, William Wagaman and John Gehagen <laughs> for nomination for the open seat of the sixth district. Any discussion? See none, we will now have the vote. Um, we need to ask, is there any other nominations? Is there any other nominations, I'm sorry. Is there any other nominations? Is there any other nominations? Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be closed. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the nominations be closed and that two names be placed on the ballot. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I keep looking up to that board that's not working tonight. We'll now hand out some ballots. Uh, we'll collect them and have the city clerk and the city attorney count the ballots and we'll have a... Would you please print your last name because some of you have marvelous writing and I'd love to see it. <laughs> Couple of them too, just in case they. finish if you want to pass them back to your left.
again, before we count the ballots, I want to thank both gentlemen for uh, coming in tonight and, and putting themselves forward. Thank their families for offering them to us. Um, it's good to see a good crowd. I get to talk now while they're counting just to take up some time. Good to see a good crowd uh, here tonight. I thank you for all being here. Okay, the newly elected representative of the 6th District is Bill Wongaman. Congratulations, Bill. <laughs> Bill, it's up to your choice if you do want to sit back there or you want to come up here for the night. You won't be officially sworn in until the meeting on the 5th, but it's up to you if you'd like to sit up on, on your current seat. I can hear you better from here. I'm hurting. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll proceed on to the election of the president and the vice president of the council. Sue? I'm sorry, we're going to look to uh, Jeremy. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Jeremy. Mayor. Move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives the majority. Is there a second? We move and seconded to have the bit, just what he read. Uh, <laughs> is there any in nominations? All those in favor of, of um, the way that we are going to proceed with the election? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Is there any nomination from the floor? Wait. Oh, I should be doing that. No key. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I nominate Alderman Hammond for President of the Council. Second. I believe that Alderman Hammond has the uh, experience and the uh, uh, leadership traits necessary to carry this uh, council forward over the next year. Thank you. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded for Alderman Hammond to be placed on the ballot. Is there any other further nominations? Is there any other further nominations? Is there any other further nominations? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I then move to close the nominations and direct the city clerk to cast an unanimous ballot for Don Hammond for president of the council. Second. It's been, <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded to. Technically, I'm not I'm supposed to, I guess. Yeah, it's been moved and seconded to close the nominations and cast an Hammond unanimous gone. ballot for Alderman Hammond as president. Congratulations, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Alderman Hammond. <laughs> President Hammond. We will now move for Vice President, Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the nominations be received from the floor, the voting be done by closed ballot. If more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number will be dropped from the list and balloting continue until they receive the majority. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Is there any nominations from the floor? President Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that uh, Alderman Carlson, um, I nominate Alderman Carlson for the position of Vice President. Second. It's been moved and seconded to nominate Alderman Carlson for the position. Alderman Heideman. I nominate uh, Alderman Scott Versey for Vice President. It's been moved and 
Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded to put Alderman Scott Versi's name in his nomination for vice president. Is there any other nominations from the floor? Any other nominations from the floor? And any other nominations from the floor? Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the nominations be closed. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the nominations be closed. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nominations are closed. We will pass out the ballots. All the ballots in. Still coming. Okay. Oh. oh yes, you're lucky. Pretty quiet in here. Quiet as this group's ever been. The least they could have done is put the pack or the Brewers game up on the slide for us while we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And the Vice President of the New Common Council is Alderman Carlson. Congratulations. <laughs> we now will have the election of a representative to the City Plan Commission. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? second. It's been moved and seconded that the nominations be received from the floor, voting be done on open ballot, and if two or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes will be dropped and balloting and continue until one candidate receives a majority. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Nominations from the floor. Alderman Hammond. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, for city plan, I move uh, that Alderman Koth be nominated for city planning commission. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Alderman Koth be nominated for the city plan commission. Is there any further nominations? Is there any further nominations? Is there any further nominations? Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd move to close the nominations and direct the city clerk to cast a unanimous ballot for Julie Koth for representative of the city plan commission. Second. It's been moved and seconded to close the nominations and cast a unanimous ballot for Alderman Koth for the city plan commission. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Alderman. Now we'll have now we'll have an election of the representative to the Board of Con Oops, I'm sorry. Never mind, we're skipping that one. Election of the two representatives to the Capital Improvements Commission. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor. Voting will be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the nominations be received from the floor, the voting be done in an open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the, com the candidate with the lowest number of votes will be dropped from the list and balloting continue till we receive a majority. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman President Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that Alderman Bellinger and Alderman Carlson be nominated to the Capital Improvements Commission. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Alderman Carlson and Alderman Bellinger. Carlson and Alderman Bellinger be <coughs> nominated for the two seats of the Capital Improvements Commission. Is there any other further nominations? Is there any further nominations? Is there any further nominations? Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the nominations and direct the city clerk to cast a unanimous ballot for Daryl Carlson and John Bellinger for the Capital Improvements Commission. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we close the nominations that a, a unanimous ballot be cast for Alderman Bellin Ballinger and who did you say? Carlson. Carlson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried, congratulations. At this time, we'll take a recess from the common. No. We changed that one. Who had appointed? Um, recess, we'll recess the common council um, and let allow President Hammond to take over the meeting to uh, elect the Committee of the Whole Chairman. Move to go to recess. Second. We are in recess and the Committee of the Whole will proceed in a minute. For Committee of the Whole, I would entertain motions for nominees from the floor. Alderman Heideman. Thank you. I nominate Alderman Jim Bourne. Second. It's all a motion and a second to nominate Alderman Jim Bourne. Are there any other nominations? Once again, are there any other nominations from the floor? A third time, are there any other nominations from the floor for Chair of the Committee of the Whole? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to close the nominations and cast the unanimous ballot for Alderman Jim Bourne. Second. A motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. Carries. Congratulations, Alderman Bourne.
Not sure I like this seat. For some reason, I'm supposed to entertain you guys for a couple minutes. Me and a microphone, what can go wrong? Okay, I'm out. Okay, we'll reconvene the Common Council meeting and Alderman President Hammond, could you tell us the results of your election? We Absolutely, thank you, you Mr. There. Mayor. Again, once again, I'd like to congratulate Alderman Jim Bourne as the new Community Hall Chairman. Congratulations, Alderman Bourne. Um, before we get started, we are going to have to go back and elect a representative to the Board of Contractors Examiners. So Alderman Decker, I need the nomination again. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidate, one candidate, or sorry, two candidates are nominated, the candidate, one candidate, sorry, Candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and the balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the nominations be received from the floor, the voting be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes will be dropped from the list and the balloting continue until the receives the majority. Alderman Hammond. I mean, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman President Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I nominate Alderman Lassard. Second. It's been moved and seconded to nominate Alderman Lassard. Is there any other nominations? Is there other, any other nominations? Is there other, any other nominations? Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> I move to close the nominations and direct the city clerk to cast a unanimous <coughs> ballot for Susie Lassard for the Capital Improvements Commission. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to. Oh, I'm sorry, reading the wrong one. <laughs> to the uh, Electrical Contractors that's Board. It. That's yeah. Second. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded to <laughs> cast a unanimous ballot, close, close the nominations and cast a unanimous ballot for Alderman Lassard for the Electrical, for the Contractors Ex Examiners Board. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Congratulations, Alderman Lassard. <laughs> we now will hear from the uh, newly elected president of the council, President Hammond. Another microphone. What can go wrong here? Um, thank you, Mayor, all the persons and citizens. First, uh, thank you to my colleagues for the opportunity to serve as president. I look forward to the opportunity and to the challenge. I'd also like to thank all the persons Kittleson, Sampson, and Hammond for their dedicated service and congratulate and welcome our new older persons to the council. Kind of struggled, uh, excuse me, <coughs> taxing was a little taxing this year. Um, I struggled to kind of put together what I was going to talk about tonight. Uh, it's hard to put into words what happened last year. Um, so, but to su suffice to say, the city's been through a lot over the last nine months. Um, and over this time, uh, this council's had to make many difficult and unprecedented decisions. It's now time to put those days behind us and look to the future. Although I realize we have challenges and difficult decisions ahead, I believe Sheboygan has a bright future with many reasons to be optimistic. Springboarding from the successes in 2002, many of our valued private sector employers continued to expand, bringing much needed employment to the area. In 2011, City Development Office, led by Chad Pelichek, helped retain and create over 700 private sector jobs. And over the next couple of years, many of our largest employers 
will continue to add new jobs. Again, additionally, we continue to have interest from businesses outside the region about doing business in Sheboygan. Supported by law enforcement, fire chiefs throughout the county, and with all of its well-documented benefits, there's a renewed optimism in combined dispatch. Thanks to the leader, efforts of, our, of leaders from both the city and county, including Chief Domogowski, Chief Herman, Jim Amodio, Dave Augustine, we are now closer than ever to bringing this necessity of public safety to reality. I would also like to thank Inspector Brooke Bauer, Sheriff Preby, and Adam Payne, who have worked with the city to bring us this far. Through the efforts of many within City Hall, we continue to improve our processes and accountability with the public. In 2012, Jim Amodio and Dave Augustine have and will continue to look at each department in depth to determine their IT needs, staffing, and processes to determine what can be improved to bring better services to our citizens. We have a new website where citizens can make inquiries and report violations. This system provo provides a mechanism to ensure that citizen inquiries are, and concerns are handled in a timely manner. Financially, the city continues to strengthen. On April 12th, as many of you know, Moody affirmed our bond rating of AA2, the second highest they have available. Consequently, and thanks to the hard work of our finance department to get things out and to Ehlers in a quick, ma in a quick manner, um, yesterday our 2012-2013 general obligation bond issue was bid at a premium at a, at a savings of about 148000 over what was projected. Thanks to, the, thanks to the efforts of many, including Chad and Jim, in a much appreciated partnership with the county DNR and EPA, the Sheboygan River will be dredged, allowing larger boats to come further upstream, giving visitors another reason to play in Sheboygan. Our people give us another reason to be optimistic about our future. Their tireless work and pride in the city they call home is the reason we are one of the greatest cities in America to live. Our employees continue, <coughs> excuse me, our employees continue to adapt to the changing landscape of city government, and although they may not like or agree with all of the decisions, they continue to do their chosen vocations with professionalism and dedication. These are just some of the reasons to believe in a strong future for the city of Sheboygan. In closing, for the new older persons, I look forward to working with each of you as we progress, and I'll assist you in any way I can for returning. <coughs> Excuse me. For returning all the persons, last year was a long year. I look forward to putting that year behind us and focusing on the future of this great city. To all, this is a new chapter in our city's long and proud history. We may not always agree, but I hope the discourse will remain respectful while always having the best interest of the city first and foremost in our hearts and minds. Finally, there are many reasons to be proud of the city we call home and with your help, I look forward to a great year filled with many opportunities to help make Sheboygan a great place to live, work, and play. Thank you. Thank you, President Hammond. We will now hear from the Committee of the Whole Chairman, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, before I uh, start speaking about the Committee of the Whole specifically, there's a, a few people that I have to thank. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my wife, Marilyn, who's in the audience tonight, <clears throat> for her support and encouragement over the last six years that I've been on the council. Uh, I would also like to thank my constituents in the 8th District, Wards 24, 25, and 26, for, voting for, the, uh, for them voting for me to return to the council. It has been an honor and a pleasure uh, to represent them for the last six years. <clears throat> I want to thank my fellow council members this evening for electing me to this leadership position on the council as chairman of the Committee of the Whole. I am sure we will have some interesting and important issues coming before the Committee of the Whole in the new council year, and I look forward to facilitating those discussions as chairman of the Committee of the Whole. 
I look forward to working with President Hammond, Vice President Carlson, Mayor Van Akron, Chief Administrative Officer Modio, our, de our department heads, and all of you, my fo uh, fellow council members. Thank you again for the confidence of you, that you have placed in me. If anyone has a topic or issue of concern that, that they would like addressed at the Committee of the Whole, please contact me. Uh, and uh, I took the liberty to call the first Committee of the Whole meeting, which will be uh, on Wednesday, May 2nd at 5.30. This meeting will be an orientation session on a wide range of topics for the new older persons and a review for the returning older persons. Uh, the uh, meeting will be conducted by our city clerk, Sue Richards, our city attorney, Steve McLean, and our IT, ma uh, IT manager, Dave Augustin. Uh, thank you, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you, Alderman Warren. My turn, Mayor's message. Um, I want to thank you all for being here tonight. I want to congratulate the new aldermen who have just been elected in, in the uh, last April's election. I want to welcome the new aldermen to this floor. Um, again, it's always interesting, to, and it, I have a lot of admiration for people who will come forward and, and do this job. I can look out into the eyes of the new alderman and see there's uh, excitement, anticipation. I also can see through the eyes of the alderman of what did I get myself into? Um, that's from Alderman Hammond though. <laughs> Earlier today I spent um, a few minutes here quietly in this chamber and thought about all the other councils that have been here in the past in this room. You know, I started in 1986 I sat right back there where Alderman Matichek is as a new council member. But there was a lot of aldermen here that had been here quite a while. Um, my, my father served for quite a while after that. But the dean of the uh, aldermen in the council was Fred Arkey, who sat where uh, my son David, Ald David Van Akron is sitting. You know, I think Fred was here, what, about 28 years? Uh, how many of you think you'll be here in 28 years? <laughs> Fred was a great guy, and you know, I think the, yeah, <laughs> yeah you've been, <laughs> been here almost 28 years. Um, there's also been many mayors that have come from these seats right here on the Common Council. Uh, mayor Schneider sat where Mayor Carlson is sitting. Um, mayor Schramm, I think, sat right in this area when he, before he was elected. And then Mayor Perez sat up front here, and uh, Mayor Ryan sat in this area, and now myself from there. So there's the last five aldermen have come right from these seats. So it'll be interesting to see what aldermen will step forward um, to be, take this seat next. I hope it's not real soon, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to somebody stepping forward. You know, it's kind of remarkable that this city keeps going on forward through the many economic hard times, many controversies, uh, even some floods that we've had in the past. It's kind of remarkable, but a little spooky actually, that many of the same issues we're facing today were talked about in councils of the past. Things like the South Pier District and what to do with the riverfront, um, whether to have a hotel. We actually talked about a, a casino years ago, you know, riverboat gambling, possibly an aquarium. Those things haven't changed. We're still looking for what to do with South Pier District. Again, joint dispatch. You know, that's been talked about for over 40 years, and as Alderman Hammond said, we're very close. We're this close to getting that done. Um, but I can remember sitting in this, in this council chambers, um, and Fire Chief Herman was talking to then young Alderman Van Akron uh, about dispatch. The only problem was it was Jeff Herman's father, and I was the alderman sitting here 25 years ago talking about dispatch. And today it's his son and my son are still talking about dispatch. Always a hot topic is the downtown area and how to revive the downtown to bring more businesses to downtown. 
Can you imagine the process that had to go through back in the 70s, late 70s, after the downtown had kind of dwindled and a new mall had been built? Trying to find an answer on how to bring people to our downtown area. The council, in their wisdom, the times of that, that era, the idea was to, I think in like Dallas and New Orleans and San Francisco, uh, Miami, places like that, were putting in pedest pedestrian malls and closing the streets and, and having people shop in the sunlight and things like that. So that's what the council decided. Now, I don't know why some councilmen didn't go, don't we live in Wisconsin? And like in December and January and February, it's gonna be 10 degrees and we're gonna be up to snow up to here. But they went ahead with that and, and you know, they, they did what they thought was right at that time, a bold, a bold move forward. Um, not only did they that in their wisdom, they decided we'll take out the streets completely for five or six blocks and we'll put in these little bricks and we'll put them all the way up and down the street. Now, many of you who've lived in the city for a long time have seen, you know, during the winter we get potholes and our streets crack because water gets underneath them and freezes. Well, we put these little bricks and in, within a year or two, these bricks are popping up all over the place because of, because of the weather. But again, the council did what they thought was smart at that time and they, they put forward um, this pedestrian mall. We built a library, you know, about that same time in, in the downtown area, but took one of the important corners of the middle of our downtown and decided to put in a bear pit fountain. I call it a bear pit because it reminds me of the bear pit from the old zoo years ago. But we put in a fountain in one of the areas. And it took only about, I would say a week or two for some young energetic teenager to figure out, you know what, if you take a whole box of Tide and throw it in that fountain, you get about four feet of bubbles. And no mom, it wasn't me. <laughs> but that did happen and then they figured it out real quickly. You know, Sheboygan, and the councils have always done what they figured are right. And you tonight are, are starting your career and you're able to steer the city of Sheboygan. Now the city of Sheboygan is gonna move, move on with your guidance, sometime in spite of your guidance, they're gonna, it's gonna move on. But I feel encouraged because in the short time that I've been mayor, we've had two new restaurants open. We have three businesses that are gonna build on the north side in the Calumet and North Avenue area. We have a new business on the south side by the uh, pick, pick and Save that's gonna open a new strip mall in that area. Um, there's a couple businesses that have come forward and asked to redo their storefronts and rebuild uh, their own stores for us. And that's all just been in the last month. So I feel very confident. But we still have a lot of work to be done. Um, I hope that we can be known as the council that finally after 40 years can make joint dispatch a reality. And I believe we can, and working together, we're gonna to get that done. After three years, or three decades, we've been talking about cleaning up the Sheboygan River and the PCBs and dredging, and I think this council is gonna be known as the council that finally got that done. And it's gonna happen this year, starting in July. We're able to work together and together for the first time, we're gonna do Eisner Avenue. Eisner Avenue was always a different, difficult uh, street to do because part of it was in the town, part of it was in the city, and it always was in bad shape. But this year, we're gonna get that done. We're gonna start go out for bids and we're doing the projects this year. Now there's two major things that are common in all three of those major projects. One of them being, it took decades to get them from start to finish. The second thing being, it showed that by working with the city, the county, the state, and even in the federal government, these things, by working together, we finally got these things to move, uh, to move forward. We have many issues facing us in the next upcoming year, and I'm gonna need your help. Working together, we're gonna be able to get these things done. Working together, we'll, we'll be able to move Sheboygan forward. You know, last night, the council <coughs> passed a resolution reducing the number of committees to make city government more efficient. That's gonna happen right away this year. I challenge you also to take a close look at possibly reducing the size of the council in the next year. Take a good look at that. 
It's something that we, sh we should be considering and the people are looking for. One of the first things that the Salary and Grievance Committee is going to be looking at is uh, to taking up in the next month is to reduce the mayor's salary. Um, I, as I was running, said I would volunteer to reduce my salary as put forward by the council. So I would ask the council to do that in a very quickly, as, as quick as possible manner. And my wife's not happy about it, but that's all right. Um, let's, uh, let's get that done and, and let's put that behind us. One of the things that I've heard from the taxpayers while I was running and I've heard since I've taken office in here is uh, some of the tough decisions that we're going to have, but, but one thing came out loud and clear, and that's the fact that we need to get rid of the garbage fee. <laughs> Whatever it takes, we must not, and I will not, include a garbage fee in the part of next year's budget. Working together, we will have to find alternatives, and we'll have to make some tough decisions to do that. But let's work together and let's do that. Sheboygan will move forward. I'm enlightened by our past, I'm encouraged by the present times, and I'm excited about our future. You know, I've served the city of Sheboygan in many capacities over the last 20 years, but I can stand up today and look you all in the eye, all of you, and uh, say that I'm proud to be the mayor of the city of Sheboygan. <laughs> we, can, we, we can all be proud of Sheboygan because we're going to be moving it forward. So thank you for your help and thank you tonight. Okay, the mayor's appointments are gonna lie over to April 23rd meeting next week, Monday. It's scheduled for Alderman Hammond. 5.30. 5.30. And Steve will read the appointments um, so that everybody knows what we're talking about to lie over for the April 23rd meeting at 5.30. Oh, Attorney Steve McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. Stated April 17th to the honorable members of the council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration. The Finance Committee, Don Hammond, Chairman, Jeremy Decker, Vice Chairman, James Boren, Daryl Carlson, Marilyn Donahue. Public Protection and Safety Committee, David Van Akron, Chairman, Daryl Car Carlson, Vice Chairman, Joseph Heideman, Susan Lassard, and the 6th District Elect, uh, Bill Wangeman. The Public Works Committee, James Boren, Chairman, Joseph Heideman, Vice Chairman, Scott Bercy, Susan Lassard, and Bill Wangeman. The Salaries and Grievances Committee, Corey Raisler, Chairman, Julie Koth, Vice Chairman, Jody Vanderweel, David Van Akron, and Mary Lynn Donahue. The Law and Licensing Committee, Jody Vanderweel, Chairman, Kevin Matichek, Vice Chairman, John Bellinger, Julie Koth, and Scott Lewandowski, signed by the Mayor. Thank you. Those will lie over till the April 23rd meeting. We all. He's got more. I'm sorry, he's got more. Oh, there's uh, also some, uh, some other ones that are, are filling vacancies. Rowan Wilson to be considered for appointment to the Housing Authority to fill the unexpired term of Susan Lassard, whose term expires 4-27-2015. Linda Serrano to be considered for appointment to the Board of Review to fill the unexpired term of Susan Lassard, whose term expires 4-27-2015. And Ed Surick to be considered for appointment to the Redevelopment Authority to fill the unexpired term of Susan Lassard, whose term expires 4-27-2015. Gene Kittleson to be considered for appointment to the Sheboygan Transit Commission to fill the unexpired term of James Gilligan, whose term expires on 4-21-2014. Signed by the Mayor. Thank you. And then there are six pages of Mayor's appointments to the various boards, commissions, and agencies that I won't. Okay. Unless you want. And we will not read through all those. Um, and we will look forward to voting on them on April 23rd at 530. Next, we have a proclamation for Arbor Day. If the city clerk would read the proclamation. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> um, is someone here representing? 
Arbiter? Yes. No. Yes. Sure, I can. I will. Okay, this is from the Office of Mayor, City of Sheboygan Proclamation. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees, and whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska, and whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world, and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees are a renewable resource, giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products, and whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community, and whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal, now, I, therefore, speaking as the mayor, Terry Van Akron, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, that would be Terry, do hereby proclaim Friday, April 27th, 2012, as Arbor Day, and I urge all citizens to support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands and to support our city's urban forestry program, and it's in testimony thereof, I've hereto set my hand and caused the great seal of the city of Sheboygan to be affixed, done this 17th day of April in the year of our Lord, 2012, signed by Mary, Mary, Mayor Terry Van Akron. Um, we'd like to open the floor to allow our guests to speak on the proclamation. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to open the floor to our guest for a brief moment. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you for allowing me to come up here and help the city of Sheboygan celebrate uh, their Tree City USA Award. For 34 years now, your city has shown a commitment to the trees in your community here. And in order to be awarded a Tree City USA status, you need to meet four standards. So for the past 34 years, you have met all four of these. There is a department in charge of taking care of the trees. You have a tree ordinance. You spend $2 per capita on tree care in your community. And just so everyone knows, it has been shown that the money you put in to care for the trees pays you back three times in the benefits. And I know that Mayor Van Akron was talking about some of the revitalization going on in downtown. Um, research has also shown that when you landscape with trees in an area where folks shop and spend money, they linger longer and spend up to 10% more. So um, I think including trees and, and you know, revitalizing downtown is a fantastic thing. And then the last thing that you do every year is the really fun one. You have an Arbor Day celebration. And this year, Arbor Day is the last, <clears throat> excuse me, Friday in April. And it's celebrated here in Sheboygan at Wilson Elementary School. You can get a hold of David Cook for more information on that if you're interested in attending or celebrating with the community. But I do have a large flag here that I would like to present the city. If Mayor Van Akron would like to come down. So on behalf of National Arbor Day Foundation and the Department of Natural Resources, I'm honored to present the City of Sheboygan with your Tree City USA Award. So congratulations. Let's pull this out here. Thank you very much.
So do you clerk the uh, public forum tonight? I don't believe we have anybody this evening. Okay. Number two, we have a RO from the superintendent of Parks and Forestry accepting a check for $1,000 from North Woods Casket Company regarding the contribution to urban forestry in Wisconsin for 2012. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the RO be accepted and placed on file. It's been mo moved in. Second. Seconded to have the RO be accepted and placed on file. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Resolution, a resolution requesting the mayor to <coughs> reactivate various committees for the 2012-2013 council year. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you very much.